Hi, welcome to another video. So, Google has launched their new Gemini 2.5 Pro model that is apparently the new best AI model. And I believe the same because it is a reasoning model that is just awesome at many tasks, and one of them is coding. The benchmarks also show the same story, where it is almost like 3.5 Sonnet, and even better in some cases, which is awesome. But the best part is that all this is currently free to use, along with the API. Yes, Google's AI Studio gives you access to this model fully for free. For free, you'll get five requests per minute. They have just done that for low request rates from users and capping them at different tiers. I hope that they make it available as a proper API rather than making it heavily rate limited. I'm sure that most people would like to pay for it, considering how good it is. Still, five requests per minute is pretty good, considering that you are not being charged. Also, if you want to use this model with better rate limits, then you can also use OpenRouter, which has this model for free, and the limits there are about 20 requests per minute and 200 requests per day, which means that these rate limits are better than the original free option, although it has a day limit cap, but 20 requests per minute is quite good. Although, another option that apparently, from what I have gathered, has no limits, and is free as well as Requesty. So, Requesty is a provider similar to OpenRouter, and they have added the 2.5 Pro experimental model there, and it is free and doesn't cost any money, although they give you a $1 free credit. But since the 2.5 Pro experimental is free in itself, you won't be deducted of that credit either, and from how much I have used it, I think that it doesn't have a rate limit, and it basically makes the model free, but also with no limits, which is kind of amazing to see. So, I'd recommend using that, but maybe if multiple people start using it, then you might encounter some errors. So, obviously, this is an option if it keeps working. So, you can go ahead and use this as well if you wish to. The model is also now the state-of-the-art on Ader's benchmark. Yes, it beats Claude 3.7 Sonnet with thinking fully for free, which is kind of awesome. It scores about 73%, which is kind of insane to think about for a model by Google, which was almost non-existent on the leaderboards. But now it is at the top. It's really some top-tier work for sure. Now... That's why I thought I would tell you guys how you can use this new model in things like Klein, RuCode, and even Bolt DIY and use it as your coder for fully free. But before we do that, let me tell you about Ninja Tools. Ninja Tools is an AI platform that combines all the best AI models and experiences at one place. It allows you to save over $600 per year compared to having separate subscriptions. You get access to Claude, 3.7 Sonnet, GPT-4.0, Gemini, and a ton of others' models in one subscription. You even get some more cool options like AI video generation, image generation, music generation, and document chats. You can also use their playground to compare multiple AI responses at once. The best part is that it just starts from $11 per month that gives you more than 1,000 chat messages, 30 AI image generation, and 5 music generation, while there is also some even more advanced plans if you need them. Also, make sure to use my coupon code AICODEKING20 to get an additional 20% off. Make sure to check Ninja Tools out and save some money on your subscription while you're at it. Now, back to the video. First of all, let's start with Klein. Make sure that you upgrade Klein to the latest version. Now, go to the settings and select the Gemini option here, and then enter your API key that you get from AI Studio. So, just put that in here. Now, go ahead and select the Gemini 2.5 Pro model here. Also, I'm configuring this in the Act mode. You may or may not also want to change the Plan mode to use this model as well. So, just get that set up. I have already told you about the rate limits, so keep that in mind. 
I think five requests per minute should be enough for most people. Or you can also use the Open Rotor API as well. You can just select Open Rotor here and then set up the model here with your API key and then boom, you are good to go. And the rate limits will be better here if you don't want a permanent rate limit cap or anything like that in the AI Studio. But this will have a per day limit instead. So, there's that. You can also use it via Requesty, which has no rate limits and is free as required. So, this is also great. You can just select it in here and then enter your API key and then enter the model ID as Gemini 2.5 Pro as well. Now, let's test it out as well. This is an image cropper tool that I have for testing. Let's ask it to add an option to it that allows me to place another image over the image. This is quite complex to do, but let's see if it is able to do this or not. Once we send the prompt, you'll see that it starts working on it. Also, it is quite fast in comparison to things like Sonnet, although it won't output the thinking tokens, which means that the time to the first token may be high. Anyway, if we wait a bit, then it's now done, and you can see that it did this pretty well. But let's test it out, and let's see how well it performs. Okay, so this works pretty well. I had tried the same thing with Sonnet a bit back, and its implementation wasn't as good as this in the first shot. So, this is pretty amazing to see at the least. Now, many of you may also want to use it with RuCode as well, and RuCode now also supports it officially, which means that you may get better stuff with it. So, just go ahead and get it upgraded to the latest version. Now, go ahead, and in the settings, create a new profile for it, and then select Gemini as the provider, and then select the Gemini 2.5 Pro model, and also put in your API key over here as well, or you can also use the Open Rotor option as well, and also the Requesty option, which seems the best in the rate limit territory as of now, which is also fine. Then you can just go ahead, select the mode you want to use, and use it all you want for free, which is kind of amazing. Now, the final piece of the puzzle is Bolt DIY, as many people may want to use it. Just go to the GitHub repo and just get it cloned, and then run the npm install to get it installed. Or if you already have that, then just get it updated with the git pull command as well. Then, just run it, and over here just go ahead, and in the model settings, select the Gemini option, and then select the Gemini 2.5 Pro option accordingly. And once that's done, we can start using it. You can also use it via Open Router if you wish to do that as well. For Requesty, you'll need to go to the Settings, and in the Local Provider option, set up the OpenAI-like option with the API base URL of Requesty, along with the model name and API key and then you could use that as well. Anyway, let's try to build something with it. Let's ask it to make me a playable synth keyboard. Once we send it, you'll see that it starts working on it. Let's wait a bit for it to finish. And it's now done. You can see that this looks pretty good, and the sounds are also great. So, this is kind of amazing for sure. That's majorly what you would want to use. Also, some people also use Aider, and Aider also now supports it officially, and it's the state-of-the-art model there. So, you can just go ahead and upgrade Aider to the latest version, and then just export your Gemini API key, and then just start it with the new model, and you are good to go. That's majorly how you can use this new model with all kinds of AI coders. You can use whatever you want, and it's free which is what is awesome. The five requests per limit is pretty good as mostly you'd want that, and you can just wait a bit. It's really great for sure, and make sure that you give this a try and use it all you want. I really like how this new model has turned out, and I just hope that it comes out of experimental, and we could use it in production 
with better rate limits. This model is great for coding and better than 3.5 Sonnet, at least for me. And I can't believe that Google has finally delivered a model that is this good and now at the top. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.